hi today I'm going to show you how you can create a column from an Excel sheet into an PHP array uh, you can use various technique I'm going to show you using a notepad plus plus and using its macro feature here I have a sample Excel file and for example I want to get all the country name into an PHP array so first I'm going to select this column and then copy the whole column next I would switch to notepad plus plus and simply paste it here I can get the list of all the values let's remove all the unnecessary spaces and the first column heading because I don't need the country text in the PHP array so here I have all the countries in a single line now I'm going to use the notepad plus plus macro to convert it into PHP array now macro is a great tool to do the automation first I have to click the record button make sure the cursor is at the top left corner then for array as it would be a string so I would start with a single quote then the next key would be the end key press so that the cursor is at the right most position of a line here we go then I would like to do another single quote and then comma so that would be one element into the array next would be to go down and press the home key to move cursor back to the first position of the line that's all I have to do repeatedly so let's stop the record for now if we run the playback then you can see that one line at a time would be converted into the same format that we just applied so just in the same way we can convert one line at a time into the PHP array now the next button run a macro multiple times would allow me to run the same function how many times we can specify in this input field or we can run through to end of this file so just click on this radio button and press run so it would go right till the end just by one click so notice the last item hasn't been updated because this line don't have any next line underneath it so that's why it failed we can easily add one line at the bottom and that would cover but anyway we can apply this single time to run it now in order to make the PHP array it would be better to remove the last comma and finish the array using the bracket sign and semicolon now get back to the top most position and let's finish up the code so that our country would be exactly into a PHP array format there we have it so 
in this example you can see there is a trailing space we can do similar sort of technique just to avoid this trailing space but that would be another day's topic so thanks for watching